Hello everyone, today we are going to be making non-sticky Kerala mutter rice in a microwave. Kerala mutter rice or Palakadan mutter rice is a variant of red rice. This nutrient packed whole grain is high in fiber and vitamins. It takes a long time to cook on a gas stove but it is much faster in a microwave. So let's get started. Wash the rice 4 to 5 times, rubbing it with fingers and changing the water every time until the water is almost clear. Then soak the rice in enough water overnight or for a minimum of 6 hours. Drain off excess water and transfer the rice to a deep microwave bowl or a microwave rice cooker. Add water to a maximum height of 3 fourths of the bowl and level the rice grains. You may also add a bit of salt to flavor the rice. Microwave on high uncovered for 10 minutes or until water comes to a boil. Allow a standing time of 2 minutes. Then mix well and cook it on medium uncovered for 15 minutes or until half cooked. After letting it rest for 4 minutes, mix well and cook it further on medium uncovered for 20 minutes or until the rice is fully cooked. Cover the bowl with a plate and allow a standing time of 10 minutes to make the rice fluffy and soft. Finally, drain off excess water and transfer the cooked rice to an insulated casserole until it is served. Like in the brown rice video, I changed the power level to medium after water came to a boil. This is the best way to cook rice grains with bran. The first 10 minutes on high will make the rice grain soft and the next 35 minutes on medium will cook the rice grains at a slow pace so that the outer does not get cooked before the inner gets cooked fully. Serve the rice as part of an authentic Kerala sadhya or along with any other gravied vegetable. This whole grain rice is high in fiber and nutrients. It has a sort of nutty flavor that I personally love. Red rice is best enjoyed when made fresh. But if you have some leftover rice that you would like to reheat, here's the best way to do it. Bring it to room temperature, add 2 tablespoons of water and mix well. Partially cover the bowl with a plate like this so that excess steam can escape. Heat it on medium for 4 minutes or until steaming hot. Let it rest for a minute before serving. The grains are short and they are semi-milled with some of its husk and bran removed. Therefore, it takes more time to cook red rice in a microwave compared to basmati rice or South Indian raw rice. But it is certainly faster than cooking it on a gas stove. Here's today's tip. Soaking before cooking the rice cooks it faster and gives a soft texture to it. But if you have forgotten to soak it, increase the cooking time in the last step until the rice is completely done. Microwave cooking time varies depending on the power of a microwave. The higher the power, the lower is the cooking time. I use a 1000 watt microwave. If you use a microwave with slightly lower power, then the cooking time will be slightly higher than that specified throughout the recipe. If you have missed any of my previous videos on cooking basmati rice, South Indian raw rice or brown rice, do click here. If you like today's video, do subscribe and press the like button. Until next time, microwave it like Madhu.